After Democrat in turn launches profanity at Trump, Donald announces unexpected consequence. During a rally for Hillary Clinton in 2016, many on the right rolled their eyes when Michelle Obama said, When, Republicans, go low, we go high. Anyone paying attention knows that liberals have no interest in taking the high road. They've proven this consistently, long before Trump is ever elected president. Whenever a Republican has occupied the nation's highest office, the left have stooped so low they might as well be underground. Who can forget the liberal media's relentless attacks on President Bush? They called him a war criminal. Or their attacks on President Reagan? They called him President Bozo and the president from Disneyland. But the left's hate has truly reached a fever pitch under President Trump. Just in the past month, Press Secretary Sanders was kicked out of a restaurant by liberals. Robert Zaniro yelled, F. Trump at the Tony Awards. And Rep. Maxine Waters cheered all of this on and encouraged other liberals to take part in attacking the president, his staff, and his supporters. An intern apparently received Waters' memo and decided to mimic De Niro by shouting an expletive at the president while he was walking to a meeting in the Capitol. Watch below The intern was identified as Caitlin Marriott, a 21-year-old who works for Democrat New Hampshire Senator Maggie Hassan. Marriott was only suspended for one week for her disgraceful outburst. Not only did her boss Senator Hassan not fire Marriott, she defended her behavior because of who the target was. This behavior shouldn't be equated with the president's destructive and divisive actions this young woman immediately accepted responsibility for her actions and is facing consequences for them. The president is doing neither comma Hassan told reporters. It makes sense that Democrats are defending this woman. Socrates once said, when the debate is lost, slander becomes the tool of the loser. Having lost every significant policy and political battle this year, Democrats have nothing left but to resort to name-calling. Do you find Patriot Journal articles helpful and valuable? Then comment with your thoughts below, and share this story with your friends and family. Many on the left are attempting to justify Marriott's eruption by saying that Republicans have displayed similar behavior. They pointed to Rep. Joe Wilson shouting at former President Obama, you lie during his State of the Union address. The difference is, Wilson apologized and didn't he resort to using profanity. Liberals also pointed to Elizabeth Loudon, communications director for Tennessee Rep. Steve Fincher, who criticized the Obama daughters in a 2014 Facebook post. While pardoning the Thanksgiving turkey, Malia and Sasha Obama both looked visibly bored and exasperated. Loudon wrote that the two should, try showing a little class. Rise to the occasion. Act like being in the White House matters to you. The media quickly pounced on Loudon in a way they'd never had for any of the countless inappropriate comments by made by Democrats. Loudon quickly apologized and resigned. She also didn't resort to using profanity. The double standard for Marriott's disrespectful attitude is absolutely sickening. That her behavior is tolerated and embraced by the left 